Phoenix capitalized on a half-court buzzer beater by La Revilla at the end of the third quarter to gain momentum in edging Blackwater, 97-91, and securing the last twice to beat advantage in the quarterfinals of the PBA Governor's Cup at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Revilla's heave not only gave the Fuel Masters of 72-69 lead going into the fourth, but a needed jolt that enabled them to take control of the match and eventually claim their first quarterfinal bonus in franchise history. The Fuel Masters also got another clutch basket from Matthew Wright, who stepped back jumper from the corner off Paul Zamer with 41 seconds left in the fourth made at 95-89 and crushed the elite's bid to erase a nine-point deficit. In claiming victory, Phoenix is assured of the number two seed in the quarters against the seventh-ranked team in the quarters which starts either tomorrow at the Big Dome or Wednesday at the Cuneta Astrodome. At least we are one win away from the semis, but we expect a dangerous opponent in the quarterfinals, said coach Louis Alas after Phoenix ended the eliminations at 8-3. Their opponent could either be NLEX or Moralco which will be known after the match between defending champion Barangay Ginebra San Miguel and TNT Catropa which was being played at press time. TNT was seeking a three-way tie at 5-6 with NLEX and Moralco when it trooped to the floor against Ginebra. A win by TNT will give NLEX the number 7 seed because of a superior quotient, leaving the Catropa and the Bolts to forge a playoff for no. 8 tomorrow. Phoenix's victory gave Ginebra the top spot in the quarters regardless of the outcome of its game against TNT. Meanwhile, Yang Giao and Norman Black believe that their former player Chris Yu has enough gas left in the tank amid the likelihood that the rain or shine guard had played his last PBA game last Saturday. Yu scored a career-high 30 points in rain or shine's 107-101 upset of Giao and NLEX, a performance that could serve as a proper send-off should the former Tinio Blue Eagle decide to call it a career after six pro seasons. I think Chris can still play another two or three years, said Giao, who coached you from his rookie year in 2012 to 2016, when he was still manning the rain or shine bench. Black is of the same thought that I always told Chris that he's too good to be retiring. But I guess he knows what's best for him, Black. Hugh's mentor during his UP days with Atenio, said after Moralco's 111-81 win over San Miguel Beer. Black was one of the first people to spill the news of Hugh's retirement plans in June after the multi-titled American mentor expressed satisfaction in seeing his former pupil produce the best season of his career. I didn't really think he would last this long in professional basketball, Black said. I know when he graduated from Ateneo, he decided that he's gonna play for the national team and play professional ball. He said he's gonna give himself two to three years, so he actually overstayed. Scores. Phoenix 97, Abueva 25, Wright 23, Phelps 16, Revilla 11, Perkins 9, Jazzle 4, Chua 4, Intel 3, Wilson 1, Alalino 1. Kramer 0. Blackwater 91, Walker 21, Pinto 17, Zamer 12, Bello 10, Aram 9, Malixi 9, DiGregorio 7, Al Husseini 4, Javier 2, Cortez 0, Sumang 0, Jose 0.